Welcome back, everyone. My name is Eltamar, and we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Baldur's Gate 3. Where we looked up last time, we convinced a What's inside? weird mutant surgeon to undergo some rather traumatic surgery himself. He is now 100% dead. I'm feeling move. a little I'll bit better that. today, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I am on the mend. No guarantees that I won't have to pause the video a whole bunch of times to cough, but we'll see how things and out. I'm gonna look around here for stuff. We picked up one Wraithwind Necrology. What is that, you ask? Use? I have not even the slightest inkling there is a bones. Oh my god, that's a cool looking weapon. I know it's just like a normal longsword, 1d10 uh, damage, but it looks really cool. I almost want to use it just because it looks so cool. Also, I have just the smallest deeply seated desire to um, use chain swords in combat, but that I don't think is a reality in this particular universe. That being said, there is a game coming out um, relatively shortly. What's up here, I wonder, on the roof? There's a bunch of roots leading upwards. Um, it is a reality coming up in the near future. Uh, when a game we all know and love called Rogue Trader comes out. Rogue Traders are from the Warhammer 40k universe and... What are you doing? Get back up there. And Owlcat Studios is making a Rogue Trader game in a similar vein to uh, Pathfinder Kingmaker and... Um, Wrath of the Righteous. So, hopefully that'll be good. It's locked. Of course it is. Where is Asterion? Wait, why are you down here? Oh my god, okay. I need to get him upstairs, like, right now. Where is he compared to the group? I don't know where the hell he's gone. Ugh, fine. Dash. 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 Get up here. Get over there. I need to get him in range of the Shadow Curse. The Unshadow... Oh, he's in Moon Shield now. Okay. Okay. Get up here, then. Stop being so stupid. Why were you so far away? I don't understand what you were doing. Anyways. Rogue Trader. It's coming to at some point. Pretty excited about that one. With pleasure. We have a pretty... Our bonus is higher than the difficulty class, so we should have no problem with this. Unless, of course, we critically fail, which does happen on occasion. There's armor up here. It just says it's called armor. What's in I don't know here? exactly what that entails, but it does theoretically exist as armor. There's a hospital library key, which I don't know if we're going to need or not. But I'm going to go with probably? There's a door here. At least a library and records. Which definitely is downstairs. It's the way we came in. We'll figure it out. Oh my god. Okay, everyone group Still up. Still in control. Just. This Shadow Curse thing is just a tiny bit annoying at times, but that's Tread okay. Lightly. It stops us from having free range to explore without having to keep our group grouped. There's a second gilded chest here. Mm -hmm. Let's open that up. Hardly a challenge. Anything else over here? A pig's head and a blush cap mushroom. And we have a arrow of many targets, an arrow of arcane interference, and some red random junk. It's mine now. Okay, we're gonna take that. And we're gonna go to the library, I suppose. Let's move. Now is that the way we came in? I am losing track a little bit. It must be where we came in, yeah, that's definitely the way we came in. We then ended up wandering around this way. So we should probably see if there's anything else to grab from the non- library record side, but there's a button. What's for a lift? Do we want to go down there? Sure. Everyone get on. My 
My apologies. One quick cough. Let's go take a look around a little bit more. So, there are some double oak doors here that lead to... Oh, this leads to the amphitheater again. The surgery type situation. Alright, well there's also this little area back here. That's where we came in though, so that's not exciting. Not new, not anything else. We could kill these things, and I think we probably should. We should also go back to the other places and kill all the little baddies around there for some extra experience. We're pretty close to a level. I don't know how strong these things are. Where do we want to stand so that we're kind of in the best location to kill them all? Up here, I think, is going to be... Oh, right. Sorry. Everyone follow. Get up here. We can probably just shoot them all from up here. Sister Gein... Or Jean... Sister Huna, Vanessa, Anya. They're all relatively low levels. To the okay. Finally. Our stealth was successful. That said, there's some coming upstairs now. We are just in line of sight. Really cool music in this fight. Can they get up here? I'm gonna go with maybe? Yes, there's definitely some roots they can get up here with. This one dashed up, and that's fine. Asterion does have attacks available. Uh, that being said... Actually, yeah, that's fine. We'll come over here. We can't hide, can we? Because we are in melee. Okay. Well, let's attack normally. Vanessa is also probably going to dash and come up here through this path. Maybe she'll run by Minthara and take a hit. We'll see. Or not. Okay. We missed our attack. Kind of sucky. Well, so much for peace. I want to be able to hit two people, but I don't know how I'm going to do that. Like this. Can't hit Hana. She's not available for shooting in the face. We uh, didn't kill her by one. That happens an abnormally large amount, it seems. Anyways, let's get uh, Lazel over here. She can beat that one to death. And then set herself up here to be a tank. She's dashing up here. Asterion is next. Which is not ideal, actually. Although, that should be fine. She just took an AOO. We are still threatened, so we can't do anything about that. A terrible hit. Vanessa's coming up. Missed Lazelle. We will hit her back. She's running away. Weird. Dead. And another pretty solid hit. I wonder if this is worth a cost. Um She's down there. We can shoot at her, I guess. Double hit for 11. Not terrible. Don't know where she's going to go. We should be able to engage this sister with both Asterion and Lazel. We might need to jump to do so. Should be dead this turn, I think. With ease. Bamboozle them. Oh, this is not worth any experience. I just realized we're not getting any experience, I don't think, from this fight. 
Let's Taking get her over here. Where do I go from here? We definitely can't hit, so we're gonna just back up. Let's watch when this one dies. We took a pretty solid hit. Relatively low damage hits there. Stabbed in the face. Yeah, no experience. So we're not actually getting anything from doing these fights. I mean, some minor magical artifacts, or artifacts, but no experience. And that's really the only thing I cared about. The Something experience we got for that I encounter, hope. where they stabbed the guy to death, must have been the experience we should have gotten if I wanted the for the entire path. combat in general. I'm thinking that's what it was. So uh, I keep hitting a stereo. What can I do for you, my Nothing. I need you to stop being in the way of where I'm clicking. Why did I go that way? Let's go back down. Oh, mm. My. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Should just keep Asterion somewhere out of frame. There is another wing to the hospital or something over here. Let's go take a look at what that is. It's this way, it looks like. Yeah, there's definitely something over here. There is a gob a dead goblin in here. And there's a sister. I wonder if this sister will give experience. She's alone. She might not have been part of the actual encounter, so we might be able to get some experience off of her. The music that happens when the, she engages in combat are really cool, though. It's really cool, though. Yeah, that was more experience. Okay, so clearly she was an independent sister. She wouldn't have been part of that main fight, so we did get some extra experience for her. That being said, we still need like 2,000 experience, which is a very solid amount of experience to level up. Um, we could run back inside and kill that last sister, I guess, and then we'll go elsewhere. This is a pretty cool place, I gotta say. How's it feeling? I feel like there's more to this place, Sunset though. Can't come quickly enough. There is a heavy chest here, and I don't think she's gonna let us have it without a fight, so... Done. Blast her in the face... twice? Good amount of damage. Didn't quite die. Which is a little unfortunate. Asteri might get hit. Nope. Okay, another 100 experience. We got a key, which I'm guessing is for that chest. Which gives us another key, which was for the library. Okay. Moving I don't know, in. I feel like there's more to this place than meets the eye. I'm going to glance around really quick in this House of Healing area. I just feel like there's something more here that I'm missing. Like, there's a staff bedding pool. This is a ladder that goes somewhere. To the roof area. There's something over here. A push on visibility. That's not... Maybe there's nothing here. Maybe it's in one of these, like, maybe it's something in these mausoleums? There's also this whole, like, house situation over there. Alright, let's just continue on, I guess. I may come back and look here later. There's a moldering coffin that's half unburied here. Why are we turn-based? Because everyone's slow. That's what it is. Don't touch me. Everyone gather up. I, I do like it how it gets to, uh, how it, uh, stops your people from getting killed by the Shadow Curse. Gives you some time to figure it out with the turn-based mode thing, but every time it clicks in, I'm like, why? What is going on here? Alright, let's save. We've done a little bit without saving, and I think it's time. <clears throat> There's a million tombstones out here. Something over there. Including a skeleton. She has a true love's caress, one of a pair of magical rings, 
that allows the wearer to receive warding bond from a creature wearing the matching ring. What's warding bond? Ward and ally. They gain resistance to all damage and plus one bonus to their armor class and saving throws. Each time the ally takes damage, you take the same amount of damage. Interesting. Where's the other one, though? Bonded by love. I'm guessing it's in the diary. Is where we'll find it. In the fifth year of our union, we faced the biggest hurdle yet. My parents became quite ill and we became their caretakers. It was a dark and difficult time, filled with emergencies of every type. Gone were the easeful days in which our, in which time was our own. Our days were filled with work, each other, and little else. During our darkest moments, I wondered if we'd survive it, but the bond of love we have is resilient. It could bend and bend and bend, but would never break no matter the pressure. <clears throat> well, she's... Here lies a nameless foundling. May he know peace at last. There's a bunch of corpses in there. Hmm. I wonder where the other warding ring is. There's also Let's iron see. doors here leading to what appears to be a sarcophagus. A crooked touch. DC 10 should be no problem for us. Like always. There is a sarcophagus. I'm going to save because sarcophagi have a... Oh, boots of apparent death. These boots allow the wearer to cast feigned death once per short rest. A graveyard diary as well. The moment is nigh. War has been brewing and now it overflows. When Kethrick turned us to Shar, towards Shar, I followed him in appearance, if not in heart. This is my home. I would not be removed from it, no matter what. I watched at a distance as the darkness here grew, as Kethrick's grief brought him further and further away from life itself. As he gathered his army, I prayed for his defeat. As the Harpers march upon our little village, our little beautiful village, I can only hope Kethrick will be felled at last, and Wreathwin can begin to heal from this nightmare. I'm gonna guess that it didn't go according to plan. The Harpers are dead. Or at least the ones we encountered are. An Ice Bite Robe. Resistance to cold damage and it gives us Armor of Agathus as a spell. And nothing else of value. Oops, didn't mean to right click on that. There's something over there. There's like a mythal around this house. Interesting. Okay. Let's keep looking around. That's Corpse Rose. Didn't we need some of that for something? I thought we got some, but there's also more here. Might as well grab it. There's also something over here. Let's just take this path. It's close by. It leads us down here to this dock area. It's a pretty big zone. Um, so we've done the Toll House. We've done the Waiting Moon. At least some of it. We should go back and kill the things in it, probably. But... Wait a minute. No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Stop moving. We might have missed something over here. There's paths that lead away from the House of Healing in this direction. That's the Thorm Mausoleum also. We didn't go that way. Which we could have, and we probably should before we go further down this other path. We should probably finish off this area first. So let's go this way. I heard a sound. I hear people talking. Raph- oh, Raphael's there. Oh dear. So as you may or may not recall, Raphael is a devil. Got a long road ahead. And I just am not sure if he's going to be happy to see us or not. He's probably going to ask if we've thought about his little deal. I actually haven't given it much thought, to be honest. Do we want to join up with the Devil Lord? Maybe. Quickly then. Let's set our main what person to, to the leading or leader of this group. So let's save here. Should mind my step. Our hero thought but of treasure ahead, did not consider the peace of the dead. Through the dark he went creeping, and awoke what was sleeping. A new grave they dug, which he himself fed. 
Sorry about that, just had to pause again for a brief moment. Hmm. How long have you been standing around practicing that little recital? Until it was perfect. I've grown quite fond of you, you know, in my way. I thought it only fair to warn you about the dangers ahead. What dangers are those? Oh, <laughs> we both know they are soon to be revealed. It would be pointless of me to try to buy you from entering. But I can set the scene, as it were. Prepare you for your role. Fine, paint me a picture. There is a stage down in the dark upon which a great drama has suspended itself in time. Its actors dwell there still, mired in the languor of their long, tired scenes. If you, however, through the dark, go creeping and awake what is sleeping, chances are many more graves than yours alone will soon be fed. All right, paint me a clearer picture than that. PC-10 should be pretty easy. Very well. There is a creature that lurks in silence and shadow. A creature who, like me, is very much of the infernal persuasion. Should it make its way out through the very doors you are about to brazenly swing open, you'll have unleashed a pestilence upon this realm. In truth, it is carnage incarnate. So if you meet the devil of which I speak, kill it. Consider no other course of action. You're only telling me half of what it, you really know. I can tell. Can I really tell? I cannot. But we might be able to. Yes, I do. I can insight it. This creature and I go back a long way. I admit it would be in my best interest as well should it remain trapped in the dark. Or misplace its head, perhaps? I should not relish its reacquaintance. Let's leave it at that. You have 800 hit points. Sounds like an acquaintance I'd like to meet, actually, or to make, actually. Listen here, Pipsqueak. <laughs> Do not underestimate this opponent. At best, you will have the blink of an eye to strike. Strike first, strike true, defy the odds, for they are distinctly in its favor. That much I owe the bastard to concede. Wait. Before you go, I have a proposal of my own. A proposal? <laughs> if you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. It burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business, devil. My old... Well, a long time ago, someone carved some runes into my back. I'd rather like to know what they say. It's something of great importance to your master. But is it a love letter? A warning? Or a deed of ownership? I can give you all the gory details, and I will, once the beast that lurks below is vanquished and sent back to the Hells. Deal. We'll help you if you help us, Tarion. Why not? Then we have an understanding. I look forward to our next meeting. Scars often tell such wonderful stories. I think yours might be truly exquisite. I am marginally concerned that we are going into the main story area. So maybe we will just uh, reconvene here later. Something over there. A dirt mound again. Send to camp. Send to camp. Pick up. Pick up. Dirt mound. I guess we'll... Oh, there's a sigil here. Nice. We can teleport back here when we need to. Nothing of value. There's a heavy sack up there, weirdly. What an odd place for a burlap sack. It's got an Observation on the Shadow Curse book, which we'll read later. 
So we could have gotten into the House of Healing this way, it looks like. This leads straight to the office. Okay, good enough then. Let's head back down. We'll go back that other way down by the dock that we planned to go before. Hopefully people won't get too far away from each other. Just everyone wait here for a sec. There we go. Gather up. We'll gather our party before venturing forth. Nice little dock area. There's a crane and everything. Like a loading crane. It's pretty spiffy for a relatively small village. I just saw Thieves' Tools listed. The Let's Mason's see. Guild. Any weird creatures jumping out from inside yet? No. Not yet. Tra you wish to consult me? Sure, why not? But not right now. We'll talk later. Disarm Kit, Thieves' Tools, Scroll of Burning Hands. Some random junk, probably, in these barrels. Not taking raw and cheese anymore. <laughs> Nothing of value, okay. There's not a lot in the Mason's Guild House yet. There is, however, this door that might lead to something more interesting. Let's go take a peek. Something over there. Odd looking a pile bones. of crushed bones of varying shapes, sizes, and creatures. Why? That is weird. Something just made a sound. Someone named Corilla is there. Hello. T tread carefully. You are still necessary. Gods, what's that smell? Sulfur? Bizarre. That is weird. Bronze ingot. There's a door that leads to a tower situation. What's over here, I wonder? There's so many things to explore. Okay, anything in this area? Negative? Okay. Let's... Where are we going? What's up there, I wonder? Is there a second floor to the guild? No, it doesn't appear so. Oh, there is. Up there. Well, that doesn't really lead to much. Just back to the graveyard, so not super helpful. Okay, let's keep looking around. There's a Shadow Cursed Harper over there. So we do have a fight over there. Kill them. They're level six, so they shouldn't be too hard. How many are there? On my way. There's at least one, two, three, four. At least four. And some shadows. Of course there's shadows. I forgot about that. I should have been more aware. Damn. Alright, everyone else is still surprise status, so that's good. Can't have disadvantage against the target. Also stop traveling as a group. Good to shoot. I wonder what 
position we will be in combat. But I think we have a surprise round, so let's hit that one. He's down the list a bit. With every breath, a purpose. That one's pretty close to death. I can kill with a whisper. She doesn't have a long-ranged weapon, so I think we'll just save her for now. No choice but to keep going. And we do have another turn. Move up a little. Move back a little. Oh, not too far back. Keep the lighter under people. They're all surprised. They're all doing their surprise junk. Can't attack again with him yet. I am death. Shoot with her. Did manage to hit it. Nice. Okay. That one's coming in. I can't see where it went. But there it is. Did some damage to it. Let's move back. I thirst for combat. That one's coming in. They're all coming in. I should move her into fighting status. Ready for battle. Okay, we have Lazel and Asterion up at the same time. Missed our second attack, which sucks. We should be able to kill it before anything else happens. I think. We'll move our main character up, obviously. That hurt a little. Need to find a way forward. That way we can see these things. Kill that one. Try and kill that one a little bit more. That one's coming in. Kinda. That was a weird movement. That's... Wait, did you dash and get to attack? That's uncool. Alright, well... What do we need to do here? Kill that one. And that one. Can't kill that other one. They are rolling really good. Why is Minthara not part of this fight? Don't know. Just wanted to make sure that one died. Unleash me. Hopefully she gets a turn this time. That one's almost dead though. Okay, good. She has a good attack. That's dead. Keep moving. Have to keep going. Someone should probably get Asterion up. We'll get uh, Minthar to get him up. Critical miss. Normal hit. Command. Up he come. Although he probably would have stabilized on his own, actually. Yes. Let's turn someone inside out. Done. Ah. 
Let's move in and kill this one off, and that'll be it. Gather up, everyone. This was a here goes nothing. Interesting fight for what seems to be not really much of an area. Something over there. Over where? R. L. Mr. Wenithorm. Okay, this is gonna be one of these situations where you have to read it around in a circle. Light on my feet. Gather up everyone, don't be dumb. What's that? Okay. Alright, let's read this from one side to the other. Where does it start? Lady of Loss. Our Lady of Loss? Start here and go here? Our Lady of Loss. That's what it is. Hmm. What was that? Yeah, what was that? I don't know what just happened. Something made it. Oh, there's a staircase down. Okay. I'm going to keep reading this and hope that the door doesn't reclose on us, but. It's Our Lady of Loss, Mistress of. Pain when night falls, Thorm shall rise. This is an interesting area, and I don't know what is going to happen when I go down there, but I might wait for the next video, honestly. I don't know why I sent that back to camp, but we did. At least they're tier of normal garbage gear is getting better. We got some half plate from one of them. We're gonna need to do some uh, sweet, sweet. An older man turns. You feel a rush of outrage. This woman worshipped Shah to the end. So why does the Night Singer's curse not spare her? Well, it's just their, their souls. Interesting. I'm gonna head down. Has no effect here. What is this place? Looks like a temple of Shar. For next time, though, take care. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Others, I'll see you next time, and we will uh, hopefully go see what's down in this interesting Sharan sanctuary. Have a good one.